what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you are new consider subscribing do yourself a favor if you love to talk movies tv so last night a new trailer for shang chi just dropped let's go ahead and review this thing <sighs> Usually when we see a brand of shoes in the movies because they worked out some sort of deal for marketing purposes But right here, I thought he was wearing the Jordan ones I thought Shang-Chi was rocking the ones but I can't really see the Jumpman logo So I can't tell if it's actually Jordan or not, you know Or unless he got him off the old Chinese dude that be selling shoes on the street And you know, he gives it for a good price because good price for us good good deal for you But then it ends up being either like a and one shoe or the jump man has a football instead of a basketball <laughs> like I once saw before If you're doing it, stop it Get some help Come on now, I know everybody has seen at least once of the last time an old Asian dude selling shoes That, that is my best This is Jordan, it's the high tops, okay. not a sleeper They This is the second time I see Asian man falling on the side of a building with bamboo construction thing going on on the side. First time I saw this was in Rush Hour 2. He took a hard fall right here, but you know what? It looks like he's gonna be okay because if we remember what Jackie Chan taught us about bamboo. Don't worry, Chinese bamboo is very strong. Don't murder people. Be careful how you speak to me, boy. Ooh, you heard that? He said, be careful how you talk to me, bro. I'm like, don't talk to me like that. Like, I really wonder if they find the tone, like, disrespectful in any way. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Because from what I heard from Asian folks that I know is that parents are more, are really strict. Then again, these Chinese folks got to watch the way how they look. Because if you ever been to Chinatown or anywhere that's heavily populated with Asians, they just stare at you. You could be walking down the street, minding your own business, and they'll just stare at you like... I could change my name. And then that moment is where my man Shang-Chi just got friend zoned. He got the famous awkward hug with the shoulder tap. Guys, if you see that right there, if a female does that to you because you're trying to be low key, trying to be slick and get close and she gives you that shoulder tap, that means cut it out. You're embarrassing yourself. You just got friend zoned. You can even tell I me, mean, look at her face, how awkward and creeped out she looks. She's like, oh yeah, get this fool off of me. What? What is that? Is that from Narnia? You can't run from your past. Is that what you wanted? See that right there? That right there reminded me of Mortal Kombat because we got the blue and on the other side we got red and they both seem to be holding rings. They're both connecting with the rings and they seem to be giving off power to each of them but in different colors so it's probably two separate powers. It's almost as if the dad is Sub-Zero and Shang-Chi is Scorpion just because of the color references. You got this. No you don't. Ooh. My man just got knocked out by what it looks like to be Abomination. I haven't looked it up. I don't know if it's true, but it looks like Abomination. It look, the design looks a little bit different than from what we got in The Incredible Hulk. But whoever this guy is, yeah, he immediately lost the fight. And I just find it funny how everyone is over there rooting and cheering that he just got knocked out. Whoever placed their bets on this dude, I don't know how much money they just lost. Like, I'm really wondering what gave him the confidence that he could go up against Abomination, a monster. And what motivated him to be like, you know what? I got this. I, I could win this. The last time somebody this confident went up against a monster, look what happened. <laughs> What I'm really wondering is that why his dad made him go through all this stuff when he was younger? Why did he do all this training and then now he's out to get him later on? Definitely is one movie that I'm going completely by that I know nothing about. But the trailer does work for me. I definitely want to see what this story is about. I want to know more of Shang-Chi. I want to know more about this character. And Abomination, like how does Abomination tie in into this Shang-Chi. Is Shang-Chi gonna somehow work together with Bruce Banner? Is this a way of bringing Bruce Banner back 
into the MCU. And the dude that got knocked out seems to be someone from Doctor Strange because he's doing the whole sorcerer magic thing with his hands. So being that we have the multiverse of madness, maybe this abomination character is not the same that we got it from Incredible Hulk. It could be from another universe that happened to be brought into Shang-Chi here to California. Or unless he's the same one, but he somehow made it to Cali. I don't know from you guys, what are your thoughts on this trailer? What are your expectations for the movie? And if you've seen the trailer, go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you like this video, smash that like button make yourself a favor and turn yourself into a subscriber that wraps it up for today and as always thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time